All right, uh, just a quick video today uh, covering just one topic uh, in case somebody's looking for this out there. Uh, it is how to get a D64 uh, image, which is a diskette image that you might find on the internet, onto a physical floppy disk. So you can uh, use it on your vintage uh, Commodore 64 or VIC-20 computer or 64 plus 4 or whatever you got. Uh, this happens to be uh, using the, the back bit tool. Now if you haven't seen this, uh, it's a cartridge and you can get them uh, from back bit and this cartridge will allow you to put an S a micro SD card in it and whatever images uh, you You've downloaded and use them on your uh, your classic Commodore uh, equipment. Now this this thing's got a neat feature that I want to cover, and uh, we'll 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 do one together here. Uh, as you see, I have highlighted on the screen there uh, a diskette. It's a D64 image, as you can tell by the end there. And what I'm going to do is hit F7 on the keyboard there. We're going to select the burn to disk option. And that's terminology uh, that you would be familiar with with CDs and DVDs, but uh, it, it'll actually copy to uh, a physical floppy. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put this brand new Radio Shack diskette in the 1541 drive that's in the very bottom. And it'll go through and detect which floppy drives you've got connected. I've got uh, I've got two now. Device eight is my fifteen forty one, and device ten is this fifteen eighty one, which uses a three and a half inch floppy. Uh, for this, we're going to do uh, the fifteen forty one, and you got two options at the bottom. It took me a little bit before I figured out how to get down to it because I was trying to to arrow down to it, and that's not the way to do it. If you'll notice, there's a letter underlined, and that's what you've got to press to get that option. So uh, for this option. Format before copy, we'll hit the letter F, and you'll notice it, it marks that, so we'll, uh, we'll get it going here. Now it's going to format that diskette first, since I selected that option. This part takes a while. Keep in mind, this is a real 1541 that it's doing it on, and you know how slow they are. So uh, we'll fast forward past this bit. All right, once it formats the diskette, you'll see this part, in which is the uh, the data that's on uh, the virtual disk image, and it's gonna write it to the tracking sectors on the, the physical floppy there. So this takes a while as well if there's a lot on the diskette, so we'll fast forward this bit as well, and I'll slow it back to normal speed at the end. All right, looks like it's all done. Everything from that D64 file should be on the floppy now that's in the 1541 drive. Now this, this thing is interesting in the fact that it will also go the other way. So uh, let's say you had a, a 1541 or a not a, or a, any, any floppy. So uh, if you had a floppy and you wanted to back it up and uh, make a D64 file out of it. Uh, you can do that as well. And it's the reverse. So instead of F7, uh, I believe it's F1. Yep, rip from disk. And uh, what it does, it does the exact opposite. And to save a little bit of time, I've already got one out here. Whoop, no, not that directory. And what it does, it saves it uh, with an exclamation mark, the year, the month, the day, and the time. Uh, it time stamps it. So then what you could do is, uh, I got two here at the top, go into F3 for the properties. And then you can just rename that to something meaningful. Uh, and when you exit out, there it is at the top, 
that's the brand new one, uh, just backed up from the floppy to a D64. So that is one great feature of this cartridge. And uh, let me pull that out of the machine. So you can see what it looks like. It's this guy right there. And in the side, it's got a little micro SD card. If you don't have uh, floppy drives, that's fine too. You can actually have just the computer and that cartridge and probably play any game you wanted to play uh, and not have to fool with the floppy drives because they are a pain uh, if you want to go that route. Or if you just wanted to preserve your floppies and, and not use them so often, you could back up your stuff to one of these. And Man, they are great for that. So I just wanted to quickly show that and uh, highlight that one feature. It's got a lot of other features. I just want to go over that one in case anybody was looking for that. Now let's try... Uh, Let's try loading what we just created and see if it actually works. So the drive just kicked in. Hey, look at that. Yep, there's the, uh, the contents of that D64 file now on this floppy. Courtesy of Radio Shack. All right, that's all I wanted to show. Cheers.